How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, this is the first rat wake bait that I have ever made and I've caught a good number of fish on it and I've already repainted it once but um, it does need repainted just because of how much I've thrown it. Um, it started a hook rash right here. And so I just super glued that. It's missing a chunk right there, chunk up here, just other random places. And then here's a newer rat wake bait that I made. So I got to paint this up as well. And then here's the tail to it, but that's all chewed up. And I got some some better tails. So let's just get right into. Look, I even still got like where I tied it on, but yeah. For my first one, it works super well, and then there's um, two other, after I've made this, I've built two more. One I gave to a dude in my hometown, I've been messaged him recently, and apparently he's been tearing it up on this, um, so I, I'm hoping he'll send it and we can get it repainted, and then some other dude in California. SoCal has one, <laughs> which I sold him for like 50 bucks. I really had no business doing that. But anyway, let's uh, let's get sanding and stripping this down to the down to the wood. All right, and I made a casting of this, but I didn't really like the mold, so I can always recast it. And I've tested it out quite a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to 320 grit. It's already, it's already sealed up and everything. And this is a Lexan bill. <laughs> and that other rat wake bait, the OG that... Alright, that's all taped up. That's going to be protected. My other sandpaper here. This one is a plastic tray insert from a from those tackle boxes. But it still got even the line ties where I've tied it on. So this will be one that we fish a lot this year. That's why I want to redo it. And then trying this one out more, I gotta fine tune it on this this one. The the first fish I caught down in Florida was on this. So that was like pretty epic. You know, and just kind of sticking to, I'm going to stick to the theme of this lure, and we're going to kind of get it. Um, same vibe, the same kind of scary looking, if you will. I wonder if I can, if you can see these places where the hook rubbed against here. I started to peel the paint, chip right here, up on the line tie, super glued that, super glued this, or... But the clear coat wasn't very good that second time around either. So I wonder if I can kind of get under some of this clear coat. And get it scraped off. Yeah, there we go. because it's pretty clear. So this will be really cool to like redo this. Look at that. So here's the back half. All stripped out.
All right, so we have my OG route wake bait. And this thing is sweet. I love this bait. This is going to be uh, one of the times. How many times I've. This will be the third time I've repainted this. But I dipped it in polyurethane just because this is a wood bait. This is going to. Like, I want that wood, like, really sealed. Um, because when I'm fishing this a lot, and if it gets hook rash and everything, um, that bait will still be fine. Because with these wood baits, eventually you fish them a lot, they catch a lot of fish or whatever. And, um, you just like, once your hook rash or teeth or whatever, once they go through all those layers and actually into the wood, um, then that wood can start absorbing water and then you have to ha let it dry out and whatever so trying to pre trying to well it's not a preventable process um, from what just like my limited experience it's not a preventable process um, so just want to get make sure it's really sealed so I can um, prolong that for you know hold that off as long as I can so it's all sealed up and it feels it feels good to the touch it feels fine and so we're going to hit it with white right away let's make sure there's nothing on it to kind of mess that primer up. Alright, so. And so far this has been my favorite paint in my limited experience is this US Art Supply paint. It's been working really well. So, I went and I put some masking tape in the joint so it won't move around. It's going to help a lot. Not going to get as much paint in there, so I guess that's a bonus too. Oh shoot, I wasn't even recording. So I have this brown. I think this is the that's good enough for the primer. I can always go back under with white. But color I haven't used. Coffee brown. And I'm actually digging that color a lot and I want to go through and do some like little fur patterning. I think this will like be a good start, like a good base for that. This coffee brown has no biz- I mean, it kind of looks like a turd right now. But dude, I really like this color. I think this will look like really good for like craw patterns too. 
and do a lot with that. I can, you know, lighten and darken it. I'm digging that color so far. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be fishing this rat anytime soon. So I'm going to do like different colors of fur. So I have this brush and I'm just trying to get the pattern widened out a little bit. All right, let's do some little eyeballs. Oh no, good thing that was just the, rolled over into that white. But luckily it was just the bill. Okay. And I wanna stay true to the original, so hand painting on the eyes, gonna do like some more, some like angry eyes. This is going to be a multi-layered effort, I'm thinking. And the hard part is just matching that up so it's the same. So I added some cute little ears, but now, since I have that white, we're going to do the pupil. And let's keep with this green idea.
sick. I'm gonna layer that up more and dry it and I'll get back to you guys. And then I like adding in just like little details for me like kind of bloodshot eyes. I'm not gonna do the teeth this time in the mouth. Um, but yeah, that is the completed bait. I'm gonna just repaint the bottom real quick. White. But there it is. It needs to be sealed and then ice out and we can fish with it again. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you for the next one.